Hey everyone, hope you're having a good day. My name is Andy. My channel is Finding Value. Uh, today we're going to do the daily technical analysis update of commodities, work our way through the dollar, yields, precious metals, and commodities and ETFs that I follow. Uh, if you need any help with anything, check out finding-value.com. We do have a discount going on uh, for Black Friday. It's Turkey. That's our discount. And uh, let's let's dive in here. I'll give you my financial opinions on what I see in the markets today. So we've got the DXY. It is continuing to fall. Uh, we've got more selling pressure today, down about 0.4%, 0.36 to be exact. Uh, and maybe we're coming back to this good old long-term support level down at close to 101, 102. Yields moving on higher today. Yields up a percent, so we're moving sideways uh, in yields, maybe even slightly higher uh, with the two-year. Uh, even though we are below this pattern that we've broken out in the channel, and we are below it. Ten-year yield, could this be a break to the upside, or are, is that a false breakout? Only time will tell, but right now, yields... On the 10-year are up 1.3% roughly, and the 30-year also up 1.23. Now, is this a valid falling wedge where we're going to continue on to the upside? We'll find out over the next week. Uh, next week, TYX, TNX ratio basically flat, so the yield curve not really moving too much today. Uh, bond prices down with yields up. Do we have more downside left? Uh, generally speaking, it's the size of this entry point uh, that will tell us kind of roughly what the projected move would be. Uh, so we do have further downside left if it decides that this is a legit pattern and that we're going to get that pullback. So higher yields, lower bond prices, uh, as expected. Uh, gold up $10.2 per ounce. I think this looks really good. Uh, we're, remember, we're coming up, and if I were to just, I'm going to draw this in real quick, guys. Um, we didn't close up here, so I'm going to take closing prices. We've got resistance there, and we've got that there. So that looks like to me that we're going to try to break to the upside. Now, I can make this look a little bit prettier. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a horizontal line here. We're going to put it right kind of on this resistance. Uh, and we've got resistance back here, resistance here that we hit. So I think if we can clear this $2,020, if we can get above, I would say there's strong resistance up here too. Man, if we can clear $2,040, we're off to the promised land. Uh, but what looks good is that we've got the big green army showing up, the big green candlesticks. We've got a bullish engulfing today. Uh, I think we're going to try to go for it, and we'll see what happens next week uh, for gold prices. We're going to try to move on, move on up. Uh, silver also participating in the Bonanza, 2.8%. We've got this little um, pattern that we're breaking to the upside. And if we take a little bit longer term view, I think we're going to go for it here uh, and see if we can punch through. Uh, we've been unsuccessful historically punching through this thing, but uh, you knock on the door hard enough, long enough, it's going to develop cracks. We're going to bust through this thing at some point. So silver's looking good. We'll see uh, if we take a crack at it next week and if we can hold above that upper $24, $25 uh, level and see if we can break through it. Platinum also heading a little bit higher. I like the resiliency. It sold off in the beginning uh, of the day here and then just bounced back hard. So that looks really good. Uh, I like that trading action and how it just bounced right back up. Uh, Palladium also finding support right on that support line. Uh, I think we could see a move higher in palladium as well. Uh, XAU to gold ratio, we're, we're slightly lower in it. Basically a sideways move day to day. Uh, so not much with the gold and silver mining companies. No all performance or anything like that going on today. Uh, CRV index is down. We are in that nice little pattern that I created. Uh, and it looks like we are creating kind of a, th a three hump. Maybe this is the hump there. It's kind of hard to see. Uh, looks like we're consolidating in a falling wedge, and I think eventually we will crack to the upside. That's my guess. Uh, CRB to S&P 500, still getting a little bit more selling pressure there. Um, could this also be uh, a big falling wedge? Kind of looks like it to me, boys. Kind of looks like it. 
Um, big falling wedge, perhaps. Uh, we've got the one, the two hump, and the three hump. Uh, and, and again, this can do a false breakdown before breaking to the upside. But uh, maybe we've got a, a falling wedge here, false breakout, falling wedge. Uh, but I think think we gotta, we're going to eventually end up to the upside here. GDX moving sideways right at support, or I mean resistance, I should say. Uh, GDXJ also at resistance if I drew one in there, and SILJ also up against resistance that I've got drawn in there. So we're just at resistance. <clears throat> if silver can break through its massive uh, trend line, we're going to be off to the races. Uh, and I think I think the gold and silver mining companies are going to they're, they're going to partake in it as well. Crude oil is down, but we're still above the support level. Uh, I like the way that this thing looks. So we punched through. We've got a little bit of a pullback, and then I think we are going to take off to the upside. Uh, the oil exploration production companies and the energy service companies are behaving quite positive in, in the face of a down day in crude oil. Uh, TTF gas up four and a half, looking okay, still above support. And then we've also got a squeezing kind of of this as well, so that is a falling wedge. Uh, natural gas down a little bit today, but we're just moving sideways in at Henry Hub. You could say that this is also, uh, and I'm reaching here, guys. This isn't, I wouldn't say this is a legit one, but it could be kind of a falling wedge. Uh, it's kind of steep. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what, it, what, what occurs next week. Uh, XOP, yeah, you know me. It's still hanging in there. We're up 0.45% on a 2% down day of crude oil. Uh, that's always a good thing to see. Uh, we are underneath that big neckline. We want to break that. It's going to take some power. It's going to take some time. Be patient here. Um, we got to punch through this thing. It's going to take some effort. <clears throat> this is a big, strong resistance level. We've hit it uh, a whole bunch of times in history. So uh, we're weakening it, but we haven't punched through it yet. Uh, OIH also up quite quite good amount, almost 0.9%. We're coming in this little falling wedge. Hopefully we can punch through uh, next week. So we've got a lot of a lot of setups across the commodity board uh, that we haven't punched through yet. Uh, they are still developing uh, at this time. Uh, Sprout Physical Uranium Trust, looking good. I like how this is. There's not much selling pressure here. And here we are heading on higher. Continuation move to the upside. Looks ultra strong for the Sprout Physical Uranium Trust. Uh, URA, a bit of selling pressure throughout the end of the day. Still looks good. Doesn't look good. Doesn't look bad. We're still above support. Just wait for the buyers to come in. URNM doing the same thing as URA. We're still looking all right. And URNJ also just doing it at a larger magnitude. But again, we are stair-stepping from pattern to pattern. And I think we've got um, upside movement still left in this thing. Tan down a little bit. <clears throat> this one still looks good. We've broken the downtrend line. Just a little bit of a selling pressure move. It could even come all the way back uh, before moving higher. Uh, COPX, the copper ETF, right above support, still looking good to move on higher. A lot of the diversified mining companies are also putting in uh, patterns on top of falling wedges, on top of things. So uh, I think this looks fantastic. We also have uh, basically a trend line that we're trying to break here. If we can break, break through it, uh, that'd be pretty positive. Lithium uh, sideways, but still looking fine. Still above the, the downtrend line. Probably not a bad entry point if you are bullish lithium. Uh, and then REMX also looking good, still above the broken downtrend line. Uh, and I still think we can go, to go sideways uh, or higher uh, out of this trend line break. Uh, SPX, just moving sideways. It's not a reversal candlestick, um, just, just a sideways day. Same with the NASDAQ, not a reversal candlestick, just sideways. So uptrend still intact. KRE uh, still looks good. And what I look at this is we've got a broken downtrend line, uh, and then you get these small down days. Um, these are just continuation patterns, in my opinion, uh, that are eventually going to work their way up. Merging markets right on support for the most part, still looking good to move higher. Not much selling pressure here. Uh, still looks good to go up. We've got XHB also putting in a bullish engulfing with not much selling pressure here. Uh, talks to me like this thing wants to go higher. Uh, Moo also moving on up. Uh, I like that you get these like flag patterns that are pointed downward. That generally means it's a stair stepping pattern to the upside. Uh, so everything's still intact for Moo. Still looks good. We're real low, uh, right above support. 
uh, I think it's a good location to be looking at particular companies in the agribusiness ETF. Uh, copper up 0.7%, not too bad. It's holding on to support. Uh, we'll see if we can break next week uh, and get above all of this clear uh, congestion area. Uh, iron ore moving on up almost 0.4%. Uh, still looks good to just grind on higher. It looks fantastic for iron ore. Uh, aluminum moving sideways between support and resistance. Uh, we are squeezing on up. Baltic Tri-Index moving up quite large today, uh, about 6%. Uh, still looking good, still above support. We've broken out of the falling wedge. Uh, the projected price move is generally something like this, uh, somewhere in that range up there. And that, I think that's eventually where we'll, we'll go. And it doesn't mean we just stop there. It could go way above that. But that's the projected move of that falling wedge. Newcastle Coal Futures still looking fantastic with the bullish action down here. I think we are going higher. This would be a great location to be looking at potentially picking up coal companies. Uh, we are basically on top of the base. This is the base. This is the, the line that's on top of it, the trend line on top of the base. And we're doing a re retest move here. Bitcoin up one and a half percent. Uh, it still looks good. Uh, we've got strong resistance kind of right there. We've got a kind of a pattern that looks like that. We're trying to break out. And then we've got Ethereum also breaking out of its falling wedge, uh, trying to put in uh, a little bit more recent highs here. Uh, and to me, it looks like this is a um, upward move, a cup and a handle pattern, perhaps. Uh, so that looks good. So today, uh, that's what we've got going on for, for today. Um, lots of downward wedges trying to be broken to the upside. Uh, we've got big patterns in precious metals. Hopefully silver can rip it here. Um, looks like we're trying to put bases in and start to work our way up in the platinum group metals. Uh, energy's got a little bit of work. We've broken the downtrend. We've done our retest move. Uh, now we just need buyers to step in here. So most everything looks pretty good. Um, if, if, if something occurs in the market where they lower rates or something goes on with the government, something's going on because Bitcoin and Ethereum, they look like they want to break higher. If they break higher, that makes me think that liquidity is coming in the market. Uh, gold is probably going to follow suit along with silver. Uh, it's just so weird that all of these are aligning for a move. Uh, makes me think that liquidity is coming to some degree. Maybe the banks already know that liquidity is coming in their positioning uh, for that. Uh, move, and we're just seeing the traces of the move. So um, that's what I've got for today, guys. Uh, so give me a thumb up for the content, subscribe to the channel, uh, subscribe to the website if you like. We've got a 7 a.m. question and answer session coming up on uh, Saturday, tomorrow. Uh, so I'll see you there. All right, guys, we'll catch you later.